right, we are just getting going. It is Wednesday, October 11th. It's about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. You might be saying, why such a late start? Well, we had some other jobs to get out of the way this morning. Uh, we had manure to move. Jared's still moving manure. Uh, we were going to chop this one particular field that we're on now. Then we were going to shut down and cover a bunk. However, we had decided to um, we decided to cover that bulk here before we started chopping. So that's why we've got somewhat of a late start. We've got an 18 acre field that we are on right now and we should have had this done yesterday. However, that did not work out. We put conventional corn on that cement pad. We covered that last week. While we were topping that bunk off, or that corn pad off, we started going into bunk three, and that had about a third of a, that was filled about a third of the way. And we didn't start going back into that until this past Sunday. We got rained out Saturday worked around the shop, got a couple of things done. You've seen that in the last video. Worked on the Western Star and a couple other odds and ends. And then Monday, well, Sunday afternoon, we, we got this one field that we were chopping done, then it started raining. So we were done for the day anyways. We shut down about 4.30, 5 o'clock. Monday morning, we went back into BMR silage. We had to get some BMR on the uh, BMR bunks. We worked on that for a half a day, got enough of a cover onto that. Then we came up into the area that we're in right now, and we should have had this done last night. Yesterday morning, Kyle came and put new tires on Sarah's truck. I started off chopping, got the first couple trunks filled, she calls me, all excited to be running new tires, because she had one bald one. She says, hey, uh, I went to check my oil and coolant, and the freaking radiator's leaking pretty good, and took it up to the shop, them guys pressure tested it, and it's cracked. So they ordered a new radiator. She didn't have a truck to drive yesterday. Radiator came in this morning. Jason worked on getting it disassembled last night. Finished up the tear down today. We covered bunk. Sarah went and picked up the radiator. Came, helped us cover bunk, and then they get, just got done putting the radiator in. Uh, here a little while ago, so she'll be in the field with that truck momentarily. So we're just going to keep on keeping on here. We're coming to the tail end, but we do have quite a swath to cut here yet. So we are maybe three quarters of the way done. Mike, you're just about loaded. We do have Pouring up in this particular area. A uh, lot to do, but it is grain corn. Uh, this farm that we're on right now is the McBoy farm. And we had chopped the Naughton farm off here while we started it uh, Monday night. Finished it here yesterday. And we came up into uh, this farm here yesterday. They had some things that slowed them down back at the boat. Uh, the wheels ended up moving in on the 9320. We had to have one of the guys drive a truck to push bumps some Nate to fix that problem. So that's all fixed. Uh, I thought they had something else. They blew a hose on one of the blade tractors as well. So that slowed them down a little bit, and then we needed all the trucks that we could have 
hauling up here and Sarah's truck down and one of the other guys down. It kind of made for a little bit of a pain in the ass. So we'll keep plugging away here. This is a uh, Hoobner variety. It's a 6763. This is the first year that we have grown this particular variety. And it does as good as the 6663 does. Uh, we're running in around 63% moisture. So for as late in the season as we are, we definitely have silage that is falling in line with the moisture that it needs to fall in line with. The VMR that we were on the other day was borderline. That was right at 63, 64%. We're gonna get into that after we get done with this 18 acre field here late this afternoon. So we'll keep plugging away here. I've got a full call to make. And uh, we'll see how she goes. I think there's another truck that came in behind my father. I'm not sure who that is. Can't see it. You guys can probably see it, but I can't. So we got maybe quarters of an inch, I guess, and uh, we were chopping Sunday, where we were chopping Sunday, we had a pretty good breeze blowing for most of the day, and by noon, one o'clock, things dried out quite a bit, however, it started raining at about three o'clock, and it just barely allowed us be able to get done with uh, where we we're shooting. So the bump that we were putting conventional corn in ended up being too full and it brought the ramp to get up on top of the bump way out front. So we left it there. We dug that back today, moved, I don't know, 15, 18 loads down to it into another bump. Move that down into another bunk, and we're going to cover that face up on the uh, ramp. It's up onto uh, bunk three because we won't be that until uh, it'll probably be August of next year. So, yeah. So, we have made it just about all the way around this field. And Davy in behind us now. And then Tim is down in that other field waiting to come up across this headland on this one field. He's running the C5. Tim had a little incident here the other day on his side by side. And he's been out of work for a few days. He's real sore. He didn't have more serious things happen for him. So we kind of missed him for a few days. I think 
I could hear something leaking out of it. So she rolled the truck forward, backwards, and it had a, a nut, or a, not a nut, a nail, or a bolt, or something stuck into it. So they changed that tire out, and the spare that we had mounted was about bald. So I ordered a set of tires. And I said, ah, put them on when you get a chance. So the guy was able to, Kyle, that is, was able to put them on here yesterday. And I kind of sweated it out a little bit, running it Sunday and Monday, uh, being that the tire was just about bald because it's real easy to pick up objects with a, it's easier to pick up objects with a bald tire than it is one that has tread on it just because of the amount of surface area that is come in, coming into contact with the surface that you're driving on. So we were lucky not to have had to deal with a, we were lucky to not have to deal with a flat tire on hand. And then of course after the tires get put on there, Notice she had a bad radiator, no problems the day before. And she was really excited to be using these tires. Because them bald tires don't go too far. And yeah, so at least it's up and going again. That radiator for that truck was $2,400. We put a radiator in Alex's truck here. Uh, last winter, or early spring, rather, we uh, put that in there, so, yeah. So we got her just about loaded. We'll get her stopped for a hot second. You can take a good look, see, at these, these new tires. They are the Alliance 331s. They are a tractor tread. Might be able to see him good enough in that view right there. Yeah. Now we got Sarge rolling up on deck. You can look at that nice mirror that we got on there. We put that on on Saturday, if you followed along in the last video. And we also replaced that back window. Uh, Jared put a two-way radio in it, if you didn't follow along in the last video as well. So we've got two-way radios in about every truck except the trucks that Alex and Sarah drive. I think truck 15. I think there's another one too. Uh, Jared put one in Tim's truck. So Tim can hear that real nice. And uh, we've got just uh, yeah, a couple of them left to put in. We've got manure trucks to put them in yet, along with the why Sarah's part she must have been. One of them quarter drain air tank drains on a corn stalk. She's underneath the truck right now. Hopefully she don't have no problems.
Western Star's claw on just a little bit. We had to blow a little bit of corn on the ground back there because I didn't want him to have to stop and back up to reset. We're on a little bit of a hill. This has that Freightliner Air Leaf uh, suspension. And it just doesn't have the articulation that the 900 and the C5 have. The uh, C5 has a new way air ride, which that has great articulation to it. In other words, it's got uh, the ability to more evenly keep the weight balanced where you need it. Uh, the 900 has an 8-bag air, uh, 8-bag Kenworth air ride. That's about as good as the New Way air ride. The New Way is just broken. That's, uh, that's probably the best air ride, uh, suspension to have. On a road tractor, the, uh, Peterbilt has a or something like that. It's Peterbilt's air ride uh, suspension, which is kind of garbagey. But the Freightliner air system and the uh, Peterbilt are really not meant for the off-road application. now into the following day and we did have somewhat of a short day yesterday as far as the old video and thing went because we didn't start till later on and we are now back into BMR corn this is a 102 day variety it's a Pioneer PO275 I believe it is without looking it up we chopped some on this farm uh the other day we chopped the field on the other side of the road and we chopped the one over there we actually finished up with that field over there last night so we're just waiting for a truck to roll on in here we do have a cable tv line that runs down the side of the road but we've got some power poles that are over into the field a little bit and we have to duck in and around them so we'll be running a little close to that there so yeah once we get a truck here we'll fire up and get going but um, this was 64 percent moisture the other day this same variety however on the other side of the road this is on sod here, so there's a little bit more nitrogen in this, and this is going to be a little higher in moisture. Um, got Jared lives just down the road. We've got strips behind his house. Same variety. Well, no, it's a different variety on that, so we might not be in this area for too long. We might have to pull out and go someplace else just have to see how she rolls here all right Mike has slid into place and we're gonna get started here Let's see if we can put some silage in the road puff of smoke come out of the chopper I should have went down to Jared's. 
Dad's house turned around and came back. This is 65 percent. Okay. 